Okay, so in the last tutorial, we successfully installed OBS US, but we had encountered some problems, and that was related to IIS. And the fix was to actually to uninstall IIS, reboot the machine, reinstall IIS, and then try back to install OBS US, and it worked the second time around. Now, after that was done, I removed reporting services. So if I if you go to control panel if you go to SQL Server you will notice that I don't have SQL Server reporting services. Now that's okay if all you're doing is SCCM on the server because it's not a required prerequisite to have the reporting services. The reporting services however failed to work when I had reinstalled IS, which is why I removed it. So we don't have it running, but it's okay. It's not a prerequisite for SCCM. So now we're going to continue with the wizard here to set up SCCM. When you go next, install configuration manager, accept the license, custom, and then primary site. So I would like to install it on the E drive to save space. So that's some information there. We're going to return mix, mixed mode. We don't have a certificate server on our site. We're going to go next and we're going to select all these different capabilities to enable on the client software and hardware inventory, programs installed, software updates, software metering, configuration management, and remote tools. Accepting the defaults here. It's also a management point. So I'm installing all the different components on this single server here. So you're going to check for updates and put it somewhere arbitrary. Let's try the the E drive. And we're going to download some components here. So I'm going to return to this after it has finished. <coughs> For this piece, you need to ensure that there are a couple settings set here. You go to Tools, Internet Options, Connections, LAN Settings, and ensure that Auto Detect is enabled. Or else you're going to receive errors. Most likely, you may receive errors after attempting to run this. So we're going to go next and download the updates into our folder. Now you must know that this is not an optional step, this is actually a required step to enter an alternate path that setup will switch for prerequisite components. So it's actually downloading from Microsoft some prerequisite components. And if you still get errors trying to download the updates, you can actually run the commands by typing the following SMS setup bin slash download and the name of the folder that you would like to download updates. You can actually run this on another computer if you're having problems downloading downloading the updates to the machine that SMS is being installed on. So if you are having problems installing updates, run this command, pop in a CD in another machine, run this command to download the updates. So well I didn't wait for all the downloads to complete, I just waited for the 
config manifest file to download and once that was completed I went hit back and I selected the latest updates had already been downloaded so we're gonna ignore the warning that we get here and click on begin install so if we just look through some of the items here we will wait for the installation to complete so during the stage the transfer file stage it takes a while and what is occurring at this point is that files are being copied from the prerequisites folder that we specified earlier in the setup wizard they are being copied from that folder to the C drive here you will find the setup logs that I've been monitoring so far and if you go into the folder where SCCM is being installed you will realize that files are being copied from your update folder to the client folder so these into these folders here okay so these are all files that have been copied so far from the updates folder so it is important when you are going through the wizard when you're running setup to ensure that all the update files have been downloaded all the prerequisite files have been downloaded into your update folder previously I had shown you how to just download one file and allow the setup wizard to continue but now that we've reached this point you indeed in fact have to download all the required files else the setup will fail so you need to ensure that you have all downloaded all the updates that are required for the update folder which are transferred from the update folder to your local program files during this transfer files process okay so this completes the installation all components have been fully installed click on next and we can launch the configuration manager console so during the next tutorial what I'm going to show you is how to use the SCCM manager 2007 to deploy updates to manage computers to take hardware and software inventory of systems so this is the SM SCCM client here that we have just opened up and um, that brings us to the end of our tutorial for today